Hello and welcome to the second game of the semi-finals between Tobias and Tom. The first game was won by Tom and Tobias had a rough start against uh, Thought Thieves and the Witness. What do you think? Now Tobias is on the play, do you think it's, it's better for him, a better situation to start? Uh, yeah, it's a huge advantage. Especially for a deck like Scapeshift who wants to ramp as fast as possible to seven lands. So, I think he's favored on the play. Okay, let's see the starting hands. Oh, that doesn't really look good for Tobias. So lots, lots of lands and not really much to do with it. He has a, just yeah. lands basically in hand. It's all right, but he's lacking some action. So I think he should skip that one. On the other side, Tom has two lands to rest, Titolo Scholar. So two pieces of disruption. These are exactly the cards he wants to see against the uh, Scape Shift. So yeah, this this looks really like a great hand. Also, Lightning Helix is a good card against Scape Shift. Imagine that Tobias cast Scape Shift with exactly lethal, and then in response to the Scape Shift, you just cast the Lightning Helix. Yeah, it's, it's funny. It's totally you devastating. Might, you might think a card like Lightning Helix is uh, bad in against combo decks, but um, against Scape Shift, it's actually one of your best cards because it can trap your opponent by gaining three life. It's it's just great. It's a dream scenario. Countering mm -hmm. Scape Shift for seven with the Lightning Helix. And as we expected, Tobias is taking a mulligan here. So let's talk about the the line of play here for Tom. I mean, he has to of, of course wait for Tobias uh, to start the game with his potential turn one play, but. What do you think? You lead out with the rest, I guess? Yeah, you lead with the rest, um, checking out your opponent's hand, and depending on that, you're following up with uh, the voice or even the title of scholar. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the only decision that Tom has to make here is how to fetch, actually, I think. Um, to cast, to be able to cast all the spells. He is in some trouble here. I mean, he has white, black, white, green, and white, red. I mean, he can fetch for Scrubland and uh, and Tiger to ensure he could cast the. Ah, no, no. You Scarlet cannot cast. No, no, you cannot cast the Scarlet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you go for Bayou Turn One, probably. Yeah, so you miss out on one spell, one of the uh, multicolored spells here. But, I mean, yes, then three turns to draw another land, so he'll probably be fine. Oh, now here we see that Tobias has also found a nice hand, actually. He has yeah. a disruption and a personal tutor, which is a good card. A tutor to find a scape shift, a ramp card, a disruption spell. This hand is way better. So he's firing off the Inquisition turn one. All right. So, what do you um, suggest that Tobias should take here? Um, I think it's a clear to rest because it's only one mana spell in his hand. So, if he would take a two mana spell, he could play whatever whatever he left there. So, yeah, taking the rest. Easy choice. Okay. One could argue that um, Titan Scholar is a to rest and a beater. So, oh. but yeah, there's... Because it costs two mana. If he takes the Scholar, he plays yeah. the voice. And also takes your card with the, 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 the Duris turn one, yeah. Yeah, exactly. He just um, forces Tom to basically skip his turn one. That's exactly what he takes. Writing down the cards. One thing you should always do to remember them later. So he knows he has lightning helix in hand, so he's probably not getting trapped. He's probably prepared. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, Tobias has the uh, the option to deal even more than 18 damage if he has uh, the Velikot in play, right? So, 
Yeah, he can ramp up to eight lands, yeah, nine lands, and he's 21 or 24. So Ponda was drawn. Some card selection. All right. Yeah, Ponda is also a, a, a good card here to prepare the next few turns. And Tobias is aware of the Tight Hollow Scholar, which he can assume will be deployed turn two. And so he can make his decision, decisions with his Ponda based on that. So probably hiding the treasure cruise, I think. Yeah, he, I don't think he's drawing the treasure cruise right now because he's scared of uh, the Tight Hollow Scholar next turn taking it away. So, um, second from top crusher cruise and a ramp spell on top. All right, pass the turn. There's this third land. Now he can fetch. Fetch. You can probably fetch however he likes now. Yeah. Depending what you uh, want to cast now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, let's see what Tom casts here on his turn two. Plateau, so probably not the Lightning Helix, correct? <laughs> not the Lightning Helix, exactly. And the Bayou, okay. So still could be Voice or the Titan Scholar or the Sylvan Library. I think he plays a creature right now, just to put some pressure on the board. Oh, Petal Scholar, uh, or oh, no, oh no, second, a voice. All right. So having taken thoughts here, playing the voice. Um. Well, yeah, he changed his mind, right? There's an argument for playing the Titan Scholar here. Um. Yeah. Sure. You want to up, and you. Yeah, I mean, but after after playing Ponder, and Tobias obviously knows that he has to... Uh, has to um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, the um, normally you would play the Hydro of Galashan too, right? Because um, your opponent even uh, took away your Duras, so he's probably hiding something, I don't know. And you just want to know what's up. But the fact that he played Ponder, the turn before um, could make you believe that he's hiding a card on top because Tobias was aware of the incoming title of the Scholar. So Tom might wait a turn to to cast it here. Yeah, to to it's actually a great play to play around that ponder here. I don't know if he had exactly that in mind, but um if it did it's actually brilliant because that's what tobias did right he was hiding the the treasure cruise on top so all right let's see another land for tom and vindicates like that's just a stone rain in this matchup but it's great i mean stone rain against scape shift is just a very, very good card. Yeah, and you probably cast it here, right? You probably vindicate a land here because you want to be efficient with your mana. I mean, just waste, wasting a mana here doesn't seem good enough. Playing your three mana spell next turn, you can play two two mana spells. So using your mana as, as efficient as possible. So since Tobias uh, knows about Lightning Helix, you probably, t on turn four, you play the Tide Hollow Scholar and the Library, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. You would not bother to keep up Lightning Helix and do uh, three okay. damage end of turn or something? I mean, right? yeah, you can do, but Tobias is not even close to seven lands, so there's no need to uh, leading up two mana for Lightning Helix. Later in the game, I could see that. Even if Tobias does know you have the lightning. Yeah. Helix. So Tobias draws three wizards here. And let's see what he does here. He has the option to play a treasure cruise. He could fire it off, right. How many cards in the graveyard? Is it five? Yeah, I think five. 
So, so five or six, maybe we don't know, but it's definitely not. He could ramp for two and follow up with the treasure cruise, right? Yeah. And you could play three visits. You could actually. Yeah, you can ramp twice, right? He could. Yeah. All right, ramping up. So, would you ramp twice here or just play treasure cruise? Get the value. I think um, he doesn't plan on playing the personal tutor. So I, I would just ramp here. Keep in mind, I mean, Tobias knows um, there's the... a tight skull, tight yeah. total scholar coming in. So, yeah, I think drawing three can never be bad. Yeah, but he also doesn't want to uh, want to lose the, the treasure cruise here, so I think it's yeah. definitely a red play. And ramping, ramping, playing treasure cruise can be bad, even though there is a tight on the scholar. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So he's finding even more ramp spells. So he has everything he needs, but you know what's coming? Exactly. <laughs> so what do you take here? I mean, um, the, uh, the spell snare counters two spells that you have in hand, but I think at this point you don't really bother those two. Um, yeah, there's no need in taking the ramp spells because yeah, there yes, are multiples. Yeah. there's multiples. Um, the spell snare is okay. It can counter your helix or your silver library, but nothing. Yeah, you don't even care. So I think you just take the the tutor. And since you are prob well, you should probably cast like lightning helix on your turn now, since you want uh, it to get countered. If it gets countered, you want it to produce a token as well. So the voice is pretty strong here, and you probably because of the voice. You definitely take the personal tutor, right? Um, yeah, that's what I would do. And that's what Tom did. All right. And playing the Lightning Helix on your turn is actually pretty smart. So, not this turn, though. Yeah, because he tapped wrong. <laughs> Yeah, he's probably just playing the library. That was his plan. Yeah, also playing the library is <laughs> at this point, I think. Mm, Savannah, is this okay? Yes, it is. So Tobias can ramp, ramp, ramp. Uh, but he has to really draw some powerful spells now that do not put lands into play. I mean, oh, yeah, unless he's escape shift. He has everything he needs except. Escape shift. So, if Tom, um, I mean, it's four damage per turn at the moment, so he might get a few more draw steps to find escape shift. Land, okay. Ramping up. So he has. Uh, Tobias has exactly three turns, I think, with the lightning helix. He's at twelve, and then four damage a turn. Mm, yeah, but I think he will fasten up the clock. Um, <laughs> by playing Kitchen Finks. <laughs> by, yeah, by playing Kitchen Finks. Uh, I don't know what he will find in the Sylvan Library, but um, it will be more than four damage incoming. Yeah. So, six lands, seven lands. So Lightning Helix is not even enough to to save you from the scape shift. Yeah. Uh, as is, as uh, as to be as here. Um, oh, you can just put money on your mana pool and sacrifice seven lands and then counter the Lightning Helix with the spells there. Yeah, that's the the standard move when 
when you're playing Scapeshift, just tapping all your lands. So you keep the, the mana in play from the lands you don't uh, need to yeah. cast your, your Scapeshift. So now we see the library um, activation of Tom here, and he finds a um, Inquisition of Kozilek, which is a great card here because it can take away the spell snare. And the finds, Butcher of the Horde, also finds great. the Butcher, which fastens the clock. And the, uh, to be honest, I would, I would pay eight life here. Just draw them all, right? Nothing um, wrong with that. Yeah, no, no, nothing wrong. But what's the line of play then? Do you um, cast the Inquisition, the Elf, and leave up Lightning Helix, or even cast Lightning Helix to go to just pay five for the cards? There's different lines you can take there. I mean, you can play the Butcher, sack your voice, give it haste, attack for seven. You can play the Kitchen Things and the Elf, the deck for four. Mm. I think both lines are, yeah, it's a two turn clock anyway, so. Yeah, now Tom gains life from the Kitchen Things as well and passes the turn. Let's see what Tobias. Draws here, if it's escape shift, he's very favored to win this game. What is it? Oh, a remand. Mm. So he, the remand is an interesting card because there are many lines of play that you can uh, create an extra card draw with. So you can play your spell and then remand it, right? Sure. Play your ram spell, remand it, hope to find escape shift and draw. I think that's its winning line. So do you think that he should use remand on his own spell right now? Or do you think he has another turn because he's not that on board? I mean, uh, we know that he is will probably most likely die to the butcher next turn. But... Yeah, he could wait because he knows about lightning helix, but he has his spells now to counter it. So he may think he gets an extra turn, but um, I would say it's pretty unlikely he does because if there's a sylvan library, he'd probably find something in it, like yeah. a haste creature, burn spell, whatever. So. I would just go for the card draw there. Yeah, we actually know that there's an Inquisition in, in the library already. So, so Tom will just play the Inquisition. Then Tobias will most likely remand it, draw a card. But it's too late. If it's skate ships, it's, it's now already too late since the Butcher is coming down and Ooh. will win the game. Yeah, that's game. So let's see how Tom plays this out. Yeah, drawing into the north. Yeah, with the remand, he remanded the Inquisition, and now... So it was is... a shift, all right. <laughs> Tom is uh, taking the damage here, going to 9 from the uh, Elves of the Deep Shadows. Playing the Butcher, stacking the Elves, giving the, the Butcher haste, and attacks for the win. So Tom, Hendrick. he advances to the finals, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the finals. Congratulations to Tom to winning the semifinals and see you next time. Bye bye.